Hello everyone and welcome back. I have fucked up. The <laughs> I don't see Mark on the Twitch. I'll fix it. That there there was something that I was still meant to do and I forgot. So there's that. Yep. Let's okay. see if uh okay. yes, here we have Mark. Hello Mark. Hello. Nice to be here again. Nice, nice. Um okay, so after last week's uh let's say weird live uh, episode with Leland and our last uh, slice on Sunday with Marco. Uh fucking Mario. Yeah, Mario. 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 Today is not my day. You're... I will I will be <laughs> no. upfront about this to anyone that is watching. Um I am half asleep. I have uh tried to assume uh that I I will wake up at some point, but it, that hasn't happened. So, if I say anything stupid, well, more stupid stuff than normal. That's why. Um <laughs> So, yeah. Today we are uh, here with Mark, and we are going to be uh, fixing shit in the onboarding, because apparently since the last time we started, uh, well, the, the last time we worked on the onboarding, uh, Compose Stable has broken some stuff, uh, but also we remember that we had some things uh, pending that we had promised that we would look into, such as creating the custom shape, which is going to be quite interesting. Uh, for the time picker background. So you, you will maybe remember it's right now it's a rounded rectangle, but we want to turn it into uh, like a comic balloon with a, with a tip, uh, the stem, as Mark correctly calls it. Uh, and um, so we are going to be working on those things. It's, it's onboarding time again. Yay! <laughs> also design and animation time so that's that's the part also there is something with hilt uh, I mean, you don't yeah, see but... it because you don't have an android studio but i can yeah, but... <laughs> sneak peek into the mayhem that just happened for a change it's broken uh but okay. we'll we'll see we'll see i i think i have fucked up things when i remain renamed uh, some classes today, uh, so yeah, that's probably what's happening. It's fine, but we'll we'll get to it. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, even you, you can do some uh, more intro and explain what's happened in yes. the meantime. And in yes. the meantime, I'll try to um, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a background. You know, we can also play "Girl from Ipanema" kind of thing. You know, like elevator music while I talk and you fix stuff. Yeah, we we need to to get a bit better. Well, uh, we can't actually uh, play "Girl from Ipanema" without nope. getting sued the shit out of us. So, so forget about that. Uh, but jokes aside, we uh, we are very happy. Because, as you saw on YouTube yesterday, we got stickers. Can you see the stickers? I guess you can, right? Yep. You can You can see the stickers. So, um, as we promised, because, uh, again, we are not this making this for the money. Uh, there is no buying a Tesla because of gold with Italians. We are actually just buying swag and send swag back so last sunday one of you that i think it's in the chart right now uh won uh, a sticker and we were able to hi uh we were able to contact them and um we now have an address and we are gonna uh, ship the sticker in the next few days so the thing is happening so the thing is real uh, in the meantime, I confirm that we are going to have a giveaway every episode. So every episode in uh, the next 45 minutes, one hour, we are going to keep it a bit uh, um, like random because we, we will take a break from the coding and we are going to run the, the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be similar to the one that we ran uh, on Sunday, I'm gonna say 
a specific word that you are gonna type in the chat. And then we are basically using this night bot uh, service that is gonna pick one of the eligible user from the chat and when they are basically gonna be the winner and they are gonna getting one of the, the stickers or a couple of stickers. Well, we're still deciding. You can I send mean, two. I mean, uh, that. come on. OK, probably <laughs> so, you know, because I, I was waiting. I was waiting for like a generosity stand from uh, from Sebastiano. So uh, you're going to get two stickers, one for the laptop and one for whatever. Nice. Um, so this is it. And this is basically what we want to do, you know, we, we wanted to do this since the beginning. Um, so if you are an Amazon Prime, um, <laughs> if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can actually support the channel for free. Um, you can connect your account to your, your Amazon account, to your Twitch account, <clears throat> and uh, then you can subscribe to the channel for free. With the money that uh, Uncle Bezos uh, gives us, we are going to buy swag and we are going to pay for shipment for sending you the swag. So this is basically for full circle. With your Amazon Prime subscription, you put money into the channel and you get back uh, swag. So basically we are like a pure function. You, <laughs> you, you get you get the subscription in and you get swag out. So please, if you can support the channel, go for it. We really appreciate the um, the support and the, the good energy that, that we get from you. And yeah, this is for the start. Did you fix Hilt? Yes, I have. Uh, and I will I mean, also this say is this is kind of a kind of a I, I mentioned it to even before, but uh, maybe uh, I, I haven't reminded him, and this is new for Mark as well. Um, I remembered that I work at JetBrains, uh, and I was like, oh. <laughs> hey, yes. folks, Sorry, I uh, by yeah, the I way, forgot, I forgot that you work at JetBrains as well, so sorry. So I asked my very nice colleagues uh, if we could get some uh, nice stuff to give away from JetBrains as well, um, and we do. Uh, we have some uh, IntelliJ. <laughs> uh, we have some IntelliJ Ultimate licenses that we will be able to give away over the next few streams. I don't know whether we'll start today, mostly because I haven't prepared anything because I was on holiday until yesterday. Uh, so uh, it might start on Sunday. I don't know. Maybe we'll just YOLO it uh, today as well. I don't know, but yeah, um, it might be only for subscribers though. Uh, because that's a, that's a big gift, <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll see. We have to decide, but yeah, we'll we'll be able to give away licenses uh, for uh, IntelliJ Ultimate, which pretty much includes everything uh, under the sun, uh, and also comes with a license that you can use to use Code with Me on Android Studio as well. So if you have a JetBrains account, you can just link that in Android Studio. Uh, it's because I think by default, like the, the free version of Code With Me um, has a half hour limit and uh, three people connected at once. Uh, but with uh, IntelliJ license, you have like, I don't think there's a duration limit. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, so, I'm just winging this. <laughs> so I don't even know for sure. So just to, to, to be clear, because I completely forgot this, because, yeah, we are very, very mindful people. <clears throat> so this is like like a whole, a whole um, ultimate IntelliJ ultimate uh, license. Like that's that's some money there. Yeah, that's that's OK. Nice. It's like a what, uh, if I'm bucks, not mistaken, it's bucks. like a one year license. Probably it's a, it's a hundred bucks remember. something. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, quite some. I, I'm just checking now how much that is, but I think it changes by country uh, how much okay. uh, money that's actually worth. But I'm quite excited yeah, because but, yeah, it's pretty noise. sure this is great. So we are very grateful to the jet brain generous people. That yeah, this is this is nice. 
<laughs> when I'm I'm bragging about stickers, you're giving away hundreds of <laughs> software license. Fuck, I mean, this is unfair. Anyway, can we code, please? Mark is just waiting. Come on, can we just? Okay, sorry, Mark, that you had to bear with us with this uh, infinite intro. Come on, let's do something. Not a problem. It's always entertaining watching uh, Seb screw up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I miss the trolling. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. It's so... not the same in the chat. It's not the same in the chat. It's not the same thing. <laughs> should, should we uh, switch to the code? Yeah. And do, do the code thing. Okay. So here is the code. Uh, now, Mark, you should be able to uh, walk around and do your thing with code with me. But I think it's worth, first of all, reminding people what we are going to do, because it's been some time th since we worked on the onboarding. Um, yeah, so uh, as we go through the onboarding, um, we get to a point where that's broken. Um... <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> the code has not changed, ladies and gentlemen. It's what just do you mean? broken. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it broke itself at some point, but we'll we'll fix it. Itself. So yeah. we are there. We we are like okay, it broke itself. Okay. Yes, I think this happened between when we did this in I think it was like end of June, early July, and when Compose went 1.0. So break just um. sort of expected. I I suspect it's the toggleable modifier that we use here, uh, because it didn't used to have like the um, the toggleable area around it so it might, it might just be the order of the modifiers or or something i don't know we'll we'll see we'll figure it out okay seems good so when we i think in my last guest slot we added the uh, time selector um so on this page where we have uh the individual times when you click on one you get uh, a selector come up the problem with this is although there's the highlighted uh pill shape um it would be nice uh, to actually link this to the uh uh the pill itself um and i think the idea that was mooted back then was to have kind of like an upside down speech bubble where you have a round cornered rect with like a stem and the stem actually points to the uh, uh, the time that was selected. So it, here it would actually uh, look as though it was coming from the uh, zero 09, uh, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, bill. So the way we can do this is a custom shape. Uh, and uh, custom shapes are nice. Uh, I quite like them. Um, even back in uh, in Viewland, uh, being able to tweak shapes is uh, is kind of something that uh, I've done quite a bit and always quite enjoy. And you can do some really quite impressive things with them. But of course, in Compose, uh, it's ever it's even nicer still. So we want to make this. Uh, time picker into kind of like a speech bubble uh, with stem pointing at the nine um, above. So the way we can do this is if we go into the code, if you scroll below expandable time picker, uh, so between just above the time picker composable there. Yeah, so scroll down below that, uh, just above uh, line two to, uh, to 11. Let's create a private class in there, which we'll call speech bubble shape. Um, we'll take a couple of arguments, uh, all privates. We'll have a private vowel corner radius, which is a DP. Then we'll have a stem position, which is a float. Uh, 
And finally, a density, which is a density. Now we want to override a method. We want to override. To implement oh, sorry. Shape, right? Yeah, we want to implement a shape. So shape is just an interface, um, but we do need to implement some stuff. So we need to override create outline. So this is going to create the outline of the shape. And this is extremely clever. We'll come to the why it is extremely clever shortly um, when we come to actually wire it in. But what we need to do is create an outline. So we want to. Um, we first want to work within the confines of the density. So this is the the density of the uh, uh, the canvas that we're going to draw to. So we want to in the body here. We want to do with density. Okay, so I can do with density. Yeah, okay. and then in there we want to call. Uh, create outline dot generic. Okay. And oh, we're okay. going to create a method. So this is going to basically create a, uh, an outline from a path. Um, so we want to uh, call a method in there. Uh, um, we'll uh, call it create speech bubble path. And the arguments that's going to take are a size, which is coming from the the size argument to create outline. Then uh, corner radius, which we're going to convert to dot px to dot px. Now this is possible because we're within the scope of the density. So is this, the corner uh, radius. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's an extension function on uh, yeah. DP. Yeah, but it, it's also scoped to the density itself. So uh, that's why we need the the width block. Um, All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this will convert to DP within the the current density. Um, so next, we want to uh, add another argument, the stem position. Yep. And then the stem size dot two px. I don't think we uh, have defined uh, it. So I'll add yeah, it. I I missed one. Uh, yeah, it should have been there. My bad. Sorry. Uh, this is DP as well, I guess, right? Yeah, indeed Can it I is. Can I ask you a thing? Um, so we have the corner radius and the stem size in dips, but the stem position is a float. Is that because it's a percentage? Um, what we're going to do, it's actually an actual value um, that we're going to create it as an offset from uh, so that the speech bubble will have a width. Um, we don't know the width uh, at, at this point, but uh, w during the, the layout, the width will be calculated. Mm -hmm. So that will be in pixels. Um, so we can pass in a raw pixel value because it will automatically be calculated according oh, to density. Um, so, so this would be something like this, right? Yes. OK. Um, so now we can create uh, a private function. Uh, yeah. And this is and a path. Yeah, it's going to create a path. So path is pretty similar to how uh, a path, for those that are familiar with the uh, canvas um, a path is very similar to a canvas path um, it's doing pretty much the same thing and in fact it's built on top of skier which um, okay. in uh, uh, the framework canvas apis that's all built on top of skier and and 
essentially Compose uses exactly the same uh, rendering engine, which is Skia. Um, and you get very similar APIs like Canvas and Path and, and this kind of stuff. But I think that there's some uh, some nicer stuff in there and some uh, things that just simplify life quite significantly. So the first thing we want to do here is create the rounded rect. So let's uh, create a, a vowel. Yeah, I, I want just to say thank you to Larry for subscribing. Very much appreciated. OK, so. So we create a vowel called rounded rect. And this we're going to create. Uh, you don't need to define that. You can just uh, put an equals there. Path. Uh, create a path. So we need uh, the constructor there. And then dot apply. We do an apply block. Oh, just uh, OK. So that we can. Uh, now, first, we want to do a reset. OK. Now, technically, we don't need to do this um, because uh, we've just created the path, so it's going to be empty. Personally, okay. I think it's always good practice to call a reset when you, you start uh, drawing in a path, because if you ever refactor this code and decide we don't want to create a path each time, we want to reuse a path instance. If you don't reset at the start, you've already got path data in there. so. You could refactor this and you could suddenly get weird behavior mm. coming in if you're drawing one path into an, uh, on top of another. Mm. So by doing a, refact, uh, a reset first, you, you kind of, although it's not needed, it kind of pr protects you if you ever do a refactor. Got it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. It just feels like, you know, that happened. You know, been there, done that. <laughs> And I paid the price, and now I will never forget. <laughs> uh, yeah, your future was self will love you for for uh, doing yeah. that reset. <laughs> um, and so now we next we do an add round rect, which you, it should start auto completing. And so we want to create a round rect, and then we want to create a rect. Uh, we, And the left edge is going to be zero, and it's a float, so zero F. Then we want uh, the stem size because we want the top of the rectangle to be offset from the mm. top of the drawing area by because we want the stem to, to stick upwards. Uh, then the next argument is the the width so we want size dot width and the last argument is size dot height so we're we're drawing the full width of the uh the rectangle uh the the uh, the, the size of the box and then the height but just offset from the top by the stem size so we assume that the stem is essentially a, a square that contains the triangle Right. Uh, yes. OK. Um, so we need another argument on the end of the add round rect. And that wants to be a corner radius. Um, and uh, a corner radius object, new instance, and it takes two parameters uh, and they both want to be the value of corner radius. So that's going to create uh, an equal uh, a symmetrical corner, whereas you, you can create, you can distort it by using slightly different radii there, but mm -hmm. we just want it symmetrical. So um, that's just going to draw us a rounded rect. Um, quite nice. Um, and now what we want to do is draw the stem. So let's now create a vowel called stem. And that's another path, and we construct that in exactly the same way. Do an apply. And in there, let's do a reset to start with. And now we want to uh, 
draw a triangle essentially. So the first thing we want to do is do a move to. So what this is going to do is. If you imagine you're drawing something on a page, a move to will be where you position your pen on that page to start to. So it's not going to draw anything. It's just going to position your pen. So we want to move to uh, the stem position. Uh, which is the first so, argument on the move to. OK, and then that's the the X offset and the Y offset is zero. So we're actually going to draw start at the very top of the, the. There's a triangle with the point at the top, so that's where we've moved to. So that's easy enough. The maths there is pretty easy enough. We we we. Uh, um, so the next thing we want to do is actually start drawing the. Uh, so we want to do something like this, and we are drawing exactly. like this top corner here. We've moved to that top point. OK, so now we want okay. to draw oh. a line. Um, and okay. so we use a line to for that. So this does exactly the same thing mm -hmm. as, as move to, except is actually going to move to a new position and draw a line to that position. So this position wants to be the stem position. So. And then we want to subtract the. From that the stem size times two, uh, sorry, divided by two, so half of the stem size. Mm, okay. uh, I'm not sure if you might want that in brackets stem size yeah, over two. I, I tend to prefer that because it makes the, the intent much clearer. Yep. So this is effectively going to uh, move the X position uh, to the left mm -hmm. uh, by half of the stem size. And then we want to, to uh, make the Y position stem size. So this is going to draw a line uh, effectively to the bottom left corner of this triangle. So we're going down here now. Yeah, absolutely. So now you can cut and paste that line. And instead of minus uh, the stem size over two, it's plus because we're moving to the right corner. So we're just going in the up opposite mm -hmm. direction. So we're going here. Yeah, and but that will draw that we're line. Going the, but we are going the full size or you're so you're drawing the whole rectangular base or the, the triangular base or the, the Half. Just the the what this is actually the, these coordinates are uh, are relative. So it's actually the, these sorry they're absolute positions that we're dealing with here. So okay. uh, from the bottom left by because that's offset from the start point by half of the stem stem size in one direction. Then when we draw to half the stem size plus the stem position, the stem position is the center line. Um, okay. So we're actually going ah okay by uh, going two stem sizes divided by two. We're actually creating uh, an equilateral triangle there. All, all three uh, sides are going to be the same length. They're all going to be stem size. OK, so it basically is drawing from the middle. That's so where we start from the middle. We start from here and we draw the okay. line at like this is still this point here is uh, stem position. Stem position. Zero. OK, OK, right, right here. Yes. And uh, then we go, uh, we draw a line to stem position, which is our current X minus half of the size of this triangle that we are assuming is uh, inside of a square, essentially. Mm -hmm. So half of it would be going here and mm -hmm. we're going down here, right? And we're drawing the line from here to here. Okay. And then what we do is we draw a line to stem position, which is this X here, plus mm -hmm. half the stem size, which is here. Okay. 
and the y is this so we are drawing oh, okay. from where we were here so line two is always from the last point you arrived to if it's the same as in canvas mark correct me if i'm wrong uh, no that's exactly correct so you're just telling it the next position you want to draw to okay. and it's going to draw a line from your current position to this new position and the new position will be where you draw the next line from okay 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 think of so it now we have mm -hmm. just just to Sorry, show that please. we are old think of it as you know logo the programming language yeah where you have yeah, the turtle I mean, no. this is the same yeah. thing it's the same thing yeah. You move the turtle, yeah, yeah, the yeah. turtle, the turtle draws a line. <laughs> yeah, but uh, do you understand? It was like uh, 30 years ago, right? Last time that I solo, but I understand the, the, the point. The But now we don't have the full triangle, right? No. We are missing. A, uh, OK, okay we're okay, missing okay. the last line. Now we could do another line, too, but there's a nice cheat we can do. OK, uh, all you need to do here is call close. Yes, we're okay. right here now. Like this is the current yeah. state. What close will do? We'll draw a line from the current position to the place where we started. So no point way of the move to, and that will draw that final line segment of the triangle for oh, us. Actually, cool. And it's gonna it's gonna draw uh, like a straight line, right? Like a segment. In, in yeah, any case, yeah, it would just draw uh, the shortest possible line it okay. can. Uh, from the current okay. position back to the start point. I love it. Thanks. That's cool. So now we've got these two paths. We've got the rounded rect and we've got the stem. Um, and what we need to do is combine them. Yeah. And so we need to do, we have the two shapes that are, yeah, I, I'm going to do ASCII art. Sorry about this. Not sorry. <laughs> uh, this yeah, is drawing happening. the rounded rects is, uh, is going <laughs> to. Be fun. It's ASCII art. There's no such thing as rounded. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can imagine it. Yeah. Imagine this is rounded. I mean, I <laughs> guess I can do this. Oh, but it look doesn't at work. That. It doesn't work up here, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like this. Ah, it does. Aha, look, look at, at me. That. I'm doing rounded rects in Archi in ASCII art. <laughs> wow. That's so, very cool. So essentially we have these two separate shapes. Um and that's not going to do what we need because uh shape is kind of, uh, an outline is kind of a specific thing that the the framework uses um and it's particularly important when it comes to shadows. Uh, and we we will see this shortly. So we need to actually combine these two into a single path. And that's actually surprisingly easy. So what we need to do is now we need to do a return. And we want to call path dot combine. And we need to tell it what operation it is that there's various operations you can do to combine paths. So you, it's a little bit like the Porter Duff methods that uh, we discussed a, a few episodes back um, that you could either have the area uh, that uh, where two paths overlap is the, the, the bit you want left or you can uh, do various different operations here. Uh, but in this case, we actually just want to combine them uh, uh, and we want to call a path operation dot union. And that would just be effe effectively the, the two paths uh, uh, built built into a single path. And then we just give uh, the rounded rect and stem as the two paths and it will combine those for us. I think with uh, union, okay. the order doesn't really matter, right? No. Um, but but in other, some of the others, it yeah. does. But um, just okay. to um, just to explain this again, that there is like it's it's not like crazy stuff, um, but the idea is that when you um, when you you can create a path by combining multiple 
um, simpler paths. And in a sense, uh, a rounded rectangle is kind of like, you know, four straight lines that are joined by parts of a circle. And like this does it for us, but there isn't really uh, much magic beyond this. It's just like you, you take a bunch of lines and you, you put them together and well, lines or curves in general, and you, you combine them and it creates a path. Uh, I think it's very important to say that paths uh, to be used as, as outlines must be closed and must be uh, concave or convex. I never remember convex, I guess. Uh, convex, I think, yeah. yes. Uh, which is to say they don't have holes. Yes. Okay. Um, and that's, uh, although um, the clothes that we used was uh, a bit of a cheat, sometimes it is important to actually call clothes because if you try and draw back to, manually draw back to the beginning, uh, it might not, there might be a minuscule hole there and it will then leak out it when you try and fill that shape so even if you are drawing back to the the start point often a bit like uh, the the always use a reset it's kind of yes. good practice to always get into the habit of adding a close uh, we didn't need to do that on the rounded rect because the add round rect uh, uh, method will actually create a closed path for us so we don't need to call a close there we're not drawing the individual components ourselves but where we are drawing the triangle uh, it's always good practice to add a close there and then you know you're always dealing with a closed path i um i actually think this could be a good time to make your reset come handy mark uh because i i see uh, what is to me a fairly uh, obvious optimization that we can do that is not really premature. Uh, it's probably just good practice in general when, when you're talking about graphics. Uh, we don't need to create a new path every time here. Exactly. So what we could do, uh, we, we can just take this uh, rounded rect path and create you know, our private Val rounded rect, and we can do rounded rect, and the same here. Stem. Good. So we reduce the amount of garbage collection that needs to happen. And by just having the reset here, uh, we don't need to create new stuff every time. I think. Technically, we could do the same for round rect, or at least a rect. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark, but I think you can uh, reset a rect. Yeah, because that that's... Uh, although stem size could change each time create speech bubble path is called, technically. But you can do set i think or at least well maybe not in the compose version no you need to create a new one okay okay so in the old canvas apis you would have wanted to reuse the rect uh because it used to have a uh set method that um, you would be able to change the values of the rectangle so you could reuse a single rectangle for multiple things but Compose doesn't want uh, mutability, so that's good. <laughs> so we don't need to uh, actually do this. We can re-inline it. It's fine. OK. Um, OK, shall we use this? Yes, we shall. Run it. Run it. I'm also very confused as to do we need this? Density? It does seem uh, like we get it yet. already here, right? So we probably don't need this. Uh, 
Yes, you're right. Uh, okay. Hmm. Clean it up. Okay, okay, okay. So, now... Uh, yeah, my mistake. I was looking at the wrong bit of code. It's fine. So. <laughs> it's okay. Well, that's okay. We have IntelliJ for this kind of stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. you don't need it. It's... And just to prove it's not you know just what? Seth that can screw up. Yeah, come on. Well, I mean, he's just <laughs> using the tool. Oh, um, thank you for giving me no credit, even. Are you calling me a tool? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that he's doing the tool that one of you can win. <laughs> are, are you maybe rooting for some of us in particular? <laughs> oh, I think I think you you can. No, 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 no. Just, I'm not assuming anything. I, I don't want to say anything. Just I'm just just gonna be here and just gonna shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bully you into silence. I just no, had no, to... <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm 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 gonna be just here with my stickers. Everything is fine. No worries. I'm just gonna be here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's use this bastard yes, shape. Let's see. Right. This, I is mean, actually... this is the first time that I uh, that I understood how to draw something that was not out of the box. So now I'm very excited to, want to see because now <laughs> I I know kinda how to do it. You know the 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 whole logo thing just clicked. So now I now I I can now I can pat. I I knew we were all old enough for that to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yes, uh, I'm today years old to understand finally <laughs> how to do. But jokes aside, I I have a lot of questions about. I know that I'm supposed to know this stuff, but let's assume that I don't know anything. That's basically like a fair assumption. But the, how does it work with you know filling colors? Uh, let's say I want to add a border or something. Uh, is it going to be easy? Like easy, I mean familiar-ish? Um, this is so nice. When, when you're actually using paths, yes, you can. So a path is you're just defining um, the, the outline, if you like, but then you can perform various operations on that. That's not what we're doing here, though. We're, we're not using okay. this directly on the canvas. We're, we're using the path to define a shape and we're basing the outline on that. So the speech bubble shape actually creates uh, an outline. So if you look at what we're returning, so that we do create uh, the path initially, but that is an okay. argument to outline generic, and that's going to return an outline. So an outline wraps uh, the path, and it's this that the framework is going to then use to draw uh, the outline for us and then create the shadows. Ah. And also to clip, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it, it, it will clip as well. Um, uh, I think there might be flags to so you can uh, toggle clip to outline. There used to be with views, for sure. Yeah. I, I think it's, before we go on, uh, we go on uh, I think it's worth mentioning why we're using generic and what are the alternatives here. Um, I don't know them in Compose, but I assume it's the same that it that it was for the old um, was. Uh, for the view system, which is there are some uh, optimized cases of outlines. So generic essentially says, I am an outline that takes in a, a an arbitrary path, and that's mm -hmm. my shape. Like that, that's the outline that I create. It's a path that. Uh, mm -hmm app is telling me but there are very common cases which are rectangle and rounded uh which uh contrary to what the name might suggest this is a rectangle with rounded corners which can uh devolve into a circle if it's a square um and um yeah essentially rounded and rectangle are optimized cases where it's, you know you have rectangles fairly often and you have rounded rectangles fairly often so these two are uh going on a on an optimized uh path uh, okay. as opposed to because for example you can see here like 
it it's doing what we have done under the hood in the yeah American basically it's, rounded it's more like saving you from some boilerplate because they are fairly common use cases i would call them yeah but also this is only doing this if the rounded rectangle doesn't have all the, the corner radius is identical if they're mm -hmm. all the same then it doesn't need to do weird shit. it's just a like a uh using the the uh, internals and uh if your rounded rectangle has corner radii that are different then it needs to fall back to a path which is a slightly less optimized uh code path so yeah this is um this is a bit of the like a bit of context on uh outline and as far as I know, it works exactly the same as it used to in the old view system. But um, this is where I uh, pl plug my own articles. Because <laughs> uh, several, several years back, uh, I actually had... Oh, wait, no, wrong thing. I actually had um, on a series of like a couple of articles or maybe three articles about the uh, corner radius stuff. And obviously, okay. as you can see, we're going back quite a few years. Yeah, I years. mean, this, uh, this is, we are going to hit pyramids at some point. I think so. Uh, no, maybe, maybe it was more recent. I don't remember. Anyway, I'll find it and I'll post it. I later. mean, if only we had a search. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, Let's see if Google helps. Uh, da, 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 da. Was it on Medium? Yeah, I think, but I, I should have all the articles on my blog as well. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the, the point is, uh, yes, this one. And I, I've given a talk about okay. that as well. Essentially, the way this stuff works in... Uh, um, in Compose is exactly the same as it used to work, and it still works in the view system, which is, you know, there's all the lights, the virtual lights that project shadows, oh, nice. and to create the shadows, there's a combination, like to create the elevation, there's a combination of uh, like a stronger uh, shadow and a lighter one. Uh, and depending on the state, the elevation shadow changes because the virtual elevation changes, blah, blah, blah. And the point is, in views, you have an outline provider. You see, the name is the same, outline. It's the same mm. thing. So if you've ever done that with views, you kind of already understand how this works. And... Um, you see, like, you end up... You used to have something like this, where, for example, you had an outline provider. Uh, let me zoom in a bit. Uh, and you could, ch like you have a rectangle, maybe you can you can scale it, you can offset it, you could do cra crazy shit. And we yeah, are not doing cool. weird stuff, but uh, you can theoretically do, like, you can change... A lot of a lot of things and I, I actually have an app on the on the play store that uses the old view system where you can manipulate the way uh the the shadows look and work by just changing how the outline works and a bunch of other things i don't know if you can do all of these things in compose already i would be surprised if you couldn't because after all it's all going to the same uh skia stuff under the hood but yeah, I'll uh, I'll leave the link in the chat just because I can. <laughs> but also also link the the blog post, please, so we yeah. can keep track of it. And here it is. Thanks. Okay. Good. Um, self promotion ended. <laughs> yeah. I mean, self-promotion, your self-promotion or your Twitch stream, right? <laughs> so I don't know. It, it, is it is it wrong? I mean, uh, okay. I mean, Seems uh, legit to me. 
Yeah. Right. I mean, it's information stuff. that's relevant to what we're talking about, so I guess it's yeah, legit. Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't have brought it up otherwise. Even um, I'm not going to troll you for that, Seb. <laughs> that's that's the seal of quality right there. Even Mark yes. doesn't dare. <laughs> it was it was useful, so good job. Mark approves. Okay, so shall we so how do I use this? Use this. Yeah. So how we are we are here. This is the card that I'm you see on troll. screen here, right? <laughs> 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 Hi, Mark. <laughs> um, just before we actually hook it up, um, yep. it might be worth. Um, so, Ivan, you were learning stuff about the uh, uh, the drawing APIs. Um, when I first started playing with this, <clears throat> I actually did it a much more complicated way. Um, okay. Than uh, we've implemented here. Um, now, it's more complex to do, and it's probably not as efficient, but if people are interested in the APIs that are available, we, we've only really covered rounded rec, my, line to, um, uh, move to, and close. Um, but there are some other um, APIs that we could go through showing the more complex way of basically creating the same shape. Now, if people are interested in that, what we could do is we could actually explain the other method of creating this shape as well, the more complex one, where we come across some other uh, interesting API, uh, API calls. Um, but really, could we do a poll with the folks on the chat, whether you want to see that or whether you want us to move on and do something else interesting? Uh, yes, let's try to do. I, I can, is it is it a poll, right? It's not yeah. like a prediction. Poll, okay, poll. let's do it. Uh, do you want to do the the hard? How do the more complex one? Yeah. Uh, would you want to see the more complex way? And yep. Yeah. Oop. We are we are yeah. getting better at Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Uh, let's go for this. Uh, bum. Let's go. It should be working. Is it working? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. My my Twitch. I'm. I'm, I feel younger by the day, you know, and I'm getting get, getting good at twitching, twitching, whatever. So uh, while we're waiting for the the poll results, we can just show how we can use this this shape. Yeah. Um, so what we have here is we already have a, a a background. So after the modifier, we can add another parameter uh, called shape. And set that equal to an instance of speech bubble shape. And we want to give it a corner radius of 16.dp and a stem position of 190 float and a stem size of 16dp. And that's it. Now we've created that outline, this will give us a custom outline. But what it might be nice to do is uh, just give it some elevation because that will help us to see uh, the, sh the shadows a bit better because at the moment, uh, so let's give it a 4 dp uh, elevation. And let's run it. Looks like uh, the people wants the difficult stuff. Yeah. Right. People want difficult things. So now we should see when we click on this. Are you ready to rumble? Boom. Oh, look at that. Okay. 
So if you zoom in, Seb, you should be able to see, uh, particularly on the bottom edge where shadows are more prominent, you can see that the shadow oh, nice. is hugging the, those corners. And we really didn't have to do much. But you, unfortunately, you can't really zoom in tight on the stem. But at a push, you can see that the shadow is following the outline of the stem. And it does. That's what outlines do for you. They control where the shadow is generated. And uh, for some fairly rudimentary drawing primitives, we, we've got... Um, you know, a, a shape that you really just can't get out of the box, but was pretty easy to do. Um, so now we can make life and complex for ourselves. <laughs> the, Yay! The point, well, I, just, just, just one, one last question before we move to the stuff that I will never understand. Uh, the <laughs> positioning of the um, um, triangle, the stem, uh, we we decided programmatically right it, it because it's it's a bit on the left it's why is not in the center why that's yeah. my my question at the moment we're just uh, yellowing that value yeah. um so it's um what we actually need to do is determine it from mm -hmm. the layout <clears throat> um, yeah, you can see which we're not at the moment fixed here even if we select the other one so that's something we'll need to okay. do so that's a, a to do um we haven't solved that now, but it's just hard coded. Okay, so is this 190, right? Yeah, that's just a value okay. I picked out of uh, thin air. And okay. it was, is it is it like DP from the left border? It's essentially an offset in pixels from the left oh. edge of the uh, this card. So we have okay. a card here. Um, with uh, the shape is actually filling the dimensions of that card. And so it's an offset from that left edge. So okay, okay. Uh, if you were to actually set it to uh, zero, um, zero or something like that, it would look really weird. Um, it would break in a very funny way. Yeah, <laughs> um, because it's going to overlap with the corner. And it's, yeah, you, it's going to yeah. end up You'd... like here. And yeah, it'd be like floating under, on the corner. It would have the gap underneath and just be a, like a triangle mm. that it kind of sits in a weird position. Yeah. Like if you were to make but you, this but you say... a reusable mm -hmm. component, then you would have to guard against the fact that the triangle should never go uh, further left and further right than where the, the corner radius starts, that you know it's not hard. Yeah. Uh, but one last question you said something about uh, the unit you you talk you said pixels so this is basically not going to look the same of every uh, every phone right am i correct um it will because we're passing in the um corner value and the stem size as dps so these okay. are getting converted to pixels based on the density so okay. down in the uh the method we created with the create outline method. There we're actually converting. Uh, uh, if you could just scroll down a little way, Seb. So yeah, in the create outline method, right at the top of the screen there, um, we're in the call to outline generic because that's within the context of density. The corner radius dot two px and stem size two px is actually converting mm -hmm. from uh, dp to pixels. Okay. So when we come down to draw, everything we're drawing is in in pixel values. As you can see. Okay. Here. Okay. 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 Thanks. I don't want to. I don't want to steal more time from the complex stuff, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, to do the complex uh, solution. Uh, we uh, are basically going to draw the outline step by step. So we're going to actually draw the curves on the, the corners. We're going to draw uh, the, straight, the horizontal and vertical line segments of the rounded rect. And we're then going to draw the, uh, the stem. So we're going to, so whereas with the triangle, we created uh, 
uh, the separate path elements um, to create the shape, we're going to kind of do this all ourselves. So, <clears throat> yeah, we start with the reset. And we're going to do a simple calculation uh, up front that we're going to use a lot. So we want to uh, create a valve called corner diameter, which is corner radius times two. So we'll use that a lot. So rather than doing that calculation each time, uh, it will A, make our code easier to read and B, make it a bit more uh, uh, performant if we're only doing that calculation once. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to start with uh, a new drawing primitive that we've not covered before. This is arc two. Oh, OK. So this is actually going to draw an arc. Now, an arc is a segment of a circle. Um, so you can draw a circle with arc two, but we're just going to draw a segment of a circle. Uh, each rounded corner, if you think of it, is kind of like a quarter of a circle. If you just drew a box around each corner, um, you're, it's kind of like just a, a, a one quarter of a circle, and each corner is in a different orientation. So the top left corner of the, the, the box has kind of like the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, You've got the corner in one orientation and likewise all four corners. And if you were to actually just draw them together, you would get a circle. But we're going to draw other stuff in between. In between. <laughs> <laughs> so with arc two, uh, arc two is uh, kind of. Uh, it needs uh, an understanding of the mental model uh, around this. Um, so what you have to do is imagine a rectangle. Um, the rectangle is kind of the bounding box around the uh, the arc. Um, it's uh, so yeah, where Seb is pointing, it's going to be those two uh, <clears throat> and up to the the uh, the top left corner as well. So. It's kind of like a box there. Yeah, that's it's it. It's a square here. Yeah, it's going to be a perfect square because we're drawing a symmetrical radius. Uh, we, we So we first need to define uh, that arc. Um, and it would help enormously if my screen hadn't locked up so I can <laughs> actually see what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so... The first argument here we want to, to create is a rect. And the bounds of this are the left edge is at zero, and that's a float. Uh, the uh, top is also zero, right? Uh, actually, it's not. Oh, no, you're right. Because we are actually. Uh, I'm just trying to understand my. It doesn't seem right to me. Um, you you need the the stem size because you start from like the the zero. Of course, yes, yes, yeah. Because be we're here. offset from the top edge. Yeah. So it wants to be stem size. Yeah, the the top because we're leaving room for the stem. Uh, yeah. Then the third uh, is the corner diameter. So that's the one we just calculated. Uh, and the bottom is going to be corner diameter plus stem size. Or rather, maybe this is clearer. So we yeah. start from stem size and we add the corner diameter. Yeah. So that's the, the bounding rectangle around this segment that we're going to draw. Um, then we need uh, a couple more arguments, uh, and let me just try and uh, 
sorry, my screen is still locked. <laughs> ah. So it depends where it counts as zero, right? Uh, yeah. Um, so th this is kind of the the bounding area, um, and I've managed to completely uh, lose all of my code, and nothing is responding. So bear okay, with me. Okay, let's, let's second. yolo it. It's fine. Uh, if you can just bear with me a second, let me try reconnecting uh, my. I have a weird setup here um, where I have uh, a development machine and my main machine, and I use screen sharing uh, to be able to access both using the same keyboard and mouse. And sometimes it. Uh, plays up and I think that's what was just happening to me. Um, right. Uh, let me just so there we go. Right, I'm back. Um so the first uh let me see if I've so, if I've picked it right or not. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um so you've got the start angle uh is this is kind of where we want to start drawing from. Um when we are drawing a circle, uh the uh circle is orientated oriented so that um, if you imagine a circle, if you can imagine the rightmost point of a circle, so it's going to be halfway down on the right hand edge of the bounding box, that is zero degrees. Um, and so if we offset from 180 degrees, that will be the midpoint at the left edge. And that's where we want to start drawing from. Um, am I right here? Uh, actually, uh, I uh, would, uh, I've got some uh, blog posts that actually explain this extremely clearly um, with okay. images and stuff. More self-promotion. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. Well, here we good. go. By the power of uh, Seb remembering uh by the power of seb <laughs> opening the tab two weeks ago and never closing it <laughs> yeah. that's so i mean it, you, you knew you knew you know at some point it's gonna be useful you know <laughs> so this was uh th this blog post was actually uh using corner treatment uh an edge treatment which is part of the old view way of doing outlines um but the principle for drawing an arc is the same because it's still part of skier. So here is the uh, uh, this rectangle we've just defined, and we're starting at the top left-hand corner of the our speech bubble, and the radius r is shown. So this is a square of the the corner radius, and there's two points at a and b. So if you scroll down a little, Seb. So here you can imagine this is the the uh, imaginary. Uh, th this is the, the rectangle we've just defined where. Uh, this is actually 2R, so this is a uh, corner diameter. Um, and the, again, this is positioned at the, the top left. And so the, the point we actually want to draw for the top left hand corner is the section of this circle from A to B. And so. This be zero here. degrees. Yeah. So zero degrees would be the point uh, diametrically opposite point A yeah. on that right edge. So by setting the start angle of 180, we're moving to point a and that's where we're going to start drawing the arc is it going this way or this way 
because it's uh, 180 degrees, it really doesn't matter because we could go plus or minus 180 degrees and it would end up at the same place. But if we were to start, say, here, that then it would matter, right? It would, yeah. Um, but effectively, the it's, we're going to draw, positive values are going to draw clockwise, negative values will draw anti-clockwise. Okay, so we start here, going yep. down. Uh, well, we're not actually going to go down. <clears throat> this as is in, the point as where in we get to a this way. Yes. So if you it. wanted to yep. start here, it would be like 200 instead of 180. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So uh, that's where we're going to start drawing from. So kind of this is almost like internally we're doing a bit of a move to to get the start position to that point. Um, from based on the circle defined by that bounding box we created with the rect. Then the, the next argument is the sweep angle. This is the bit we're going to draw. And so this wants to be 90. We're going plus 90 degrees, which is going to draw clockwise by 90 degrees. So that's going to draw that segment from A to B. And that's our arc two. Yeah, this actually is quite useful. Yeah, so you start from here, you go 180, and then in our case, we want to draw 90 degrees. There you go. And then if you actually ah. see that in the context of the rest of the shape, that's the bit we've just drawn with kind of that bounding box of the circle drawn in there. So this is the kind of thing that uh, rounded rect is doing for us uh, in the the simple way, uh, and yeah. Uh, so we can um, say not... we have drawn this rounded corner. Like this, this is yeah. ASCII. Imagine <laughs> yes. it's rounded, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but, the, but we we got the point. <laughs> the important thing here, though, is. Uh, we finished at the point uh, on the top edge where the rounded corner finishes. So it's point B from our example, but we're actually uh, uh, just at the, the, the point where the straight line segment of that top edge starts. So we can just draw, do a line two from there to start drawing the top edge. Uh, so what we want to do is align to uh, stem position uh, minus stem size over two. Sorry, I'm still laughing for <laughs> you. Certainly have a lot of imagination when it comes to ASCII art. <laughs> I, I, my mind fills in the blanks. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's so. because when when you haven't slept, your mind is mainly blank, Seb. I'm I'm used to blanks. Uh, <laughs> oh God, how horrible so, does that sound? I uh, whatever. <laughs> so it's actually it needs to be uh, stem position minus stem size over two. You're right. So stem position minus stem size divided two. Boom. Okay. Now, this value, uh, uh, and then, yeah, the y position wants to be stem size. So those with good memories might remember this particular point was the bottom left-hand corner of the triangle when we drew that. The triangle, yeah. Kind so the triangle. Yes. actually, if you look at the preview on the, the right there, we've drawn the arc for the the top corner and then we're drawing a line across to this bit there yeah yes. to that corner now we want to draw a line to the the tip of the stem and that is again that that's quite similar to uh what we did before so it's going to be size dot width minus uh, sorry uh sorry the x is going to be stem position and y is going to be zero and it's a float so that's the the top of the the stem, and now we want to do another line two. 
and we want to draw this uh, to the bottom right corner of the triangle. So that's yeah, we we just add the plus in there. So that's drawn a little uh, uh, stem. So we're to there. And now we want to draw a straight line that's going to go to where the next uh, rounded corner begins. Starts. So yeah, okay. this is going to be or, or, uh, oriented differently, but the X position here is size dot width minus the corner diameter. So we're going to stop uh, short. So we've gone all the way to here. To yes. Here. OK. And just to make sure that my ASCII art is up to date, there you go. <laughs> yeah, well, it's out of proportion. No, 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 it's actually a good proportion there because it's biased. Okay. You underestimate my ASCII abilities. No, no, yeah, you are completely <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, but this is actually cool because, you know, you. I mean, I never do this kind of stuff, so it's uh, it's unfamiliar for me because this is not the usual thing that I do. Um, but the moment you get the idea, you can, I mean, it's a bit of geometry, yes, but then you can draw everything. You can like, uh, you, you, you go full vector drawing, basically, you're, you're, you're manually Drawing everything, the lines and circles and arcs and this is cool. So the rest of this is kind of a bit rinse and repeat. You're just changing orientations and stuff. Um, so the next thing we do is do an arc two for the top right hand corner. Um, so we need to define the rectangle slightly differently. It needs to be uh, offset from the right hand edge. So I guess it's going to take. By... It's not going to be that because we've actually drawn that line to All halfway right. through the rectangle. We need to define because we need to start the halfway point. Um, so the left hand edge is going to be size dot width minus corner diameter. Uh, sorry, you said size dot width, right? Size dot width, yeah, minus corner diameter. So that's not the radius. Remember, that's mm -hmm. twice the radius. Uh, the top is the same. Uh, the right hand edge is size dot width. And the bottom is stem size plus corner diameter again. Okay. But now we need to start drawing at a different place. So this time we want to uh, do start at 270. And again, we're going to draw through 90 degrees. So it's kind of the same thing, but we positioned the rectangle differently and we're drawing the top right segment that's going to run from the top edge, uh, the, the center point at the top round clockwise to the center point on the, the right. By the way, uh, Mark, I wanted to ask you, uh, force move to is essentially doing the, doing the move to for you, right? Um, let me just double check that. I, uh, it, no, you probably want to turn that off. Okay. That probably wants to be false because what's that going to, what that's going to do is that's going to do, uh, create a new path segment. Uh, it's going to move to the start position oh, and create so a new path. Oh, it's going to discontinue there. the path. So w whereas uh, we have constructed our lines to draw to the correct positions, we want to draw a continuous line on from there. Got it. But there are uh, so when you're trying to do, draw a continue a, a closed path, you probably want this off. But where you might be drawing more freestyle paths directly to canvas, then this can be useful. So the, the first one should be true because we want to move to before we start drawing to the beginning of the first rounded uh, corner. It really doesn't matter because uh, it's going to create a new path segment anyway, because uh, okay. there is one. Um, so uh, for consistency, um, let's it leave it false. Matter. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so now we've drawn the uh, top right corner. Yep. Oscar. We don't. We don't actually have <laughs> any uh, complication of the uh, the stem on this edge. So we draw a line to, uh, and then this is just going to be down to where the uh, the bottom right corner curve starts. Uh, that's a line to size dot width. And it's going to size dot height minus corner diameter. So again, we're drawing down and just stopping uh, uh, where the uh, 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 the bottom is going to... Are you sure uh, this isn't meant to be the radius? Uh, that, that should be radius, yes. Sorry, you're right. And here as well, I guess. Um, ba, 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 yes. Yes, you're correct. Uh, thank you for the sub. Uh, ain, Ain'jin? Ain'jin. <laughs> China. Ain'jin. I don't know how to read it. <laughs> uh, so now we do another arc. So I'm going to lazy ass copy paste this. And the rect is going to start uh, size dot width minus corner diameter. Yep. And top is going to be uh, size dot height minus corner diameter. And this does want to be the diameter yep. because it's twice the width. Uh, uh, the right is size dot width and the bottom is size dot height. So so uh, let's see if I can pronounce it correctly. Uh, Stilianos. Stilianos asked if this was um, more or less the same easy as it, it is on Compose also on the view system. Mark, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, um, as I say, it's uh, the, the the view APIs were quite nice. Uh, you had corner treatment and edge treatment, which uh, you could create uh, different. Uh, so you could create a corner treatment, which would do uh, 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 sort of an inner rounded rect. Um, so whereas here we've got the the rounding out set, you could actually have one inset, kind of like you'd get on the corner of a train ticket or something like that. Um, and you could apply different corner treatments to the individual corners and you can do, you know, you, we could create the, the stem with an edge treatment. Um, and they were quite nice APIs, but there's so much power in the, uh, the path commands that that's about all we need to to worry about here. We we just draw a path and we can do anything we want. Uh, we can get uh, clever and we can, uh, you know, with, with the first example we showed, we just drew two very simple shapes and combined. Yeah, that was actually impressive. That was super um, impressive. I love it. So this is a lot more uh, involved. Uh, so. Yeah, Seb is just plowing on ahead. Um, <laughs> it's just it's yeah, well, 8 no, p.m. Actually. already, so I want to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, um, it's, it's cool. You can now do the final arc. And the left edge is 0F. Uh, the top is size dot height minus corner radius, no corner diameter. Yep. Uh, the right edge is uh, corner I've diameter. Lost it. Uh, uh, yep, and the bottom is size dot height. Uh, start angle degrees. Oh is right! 90. By the way, we forgot to change this. For the uh, yes. bottom right, it starts at zero. Yep, because we said it's the um, right hand yep. point. Okay, and that and that one is going to be ninety. Yeah, it's the last one remaining, so <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> and so before final, we run it, but we haven't prediction. finished quite yet. Predictions. 
But no, actually, actually, I want I want to do the giveaway. So don't no. run it before we run it. I want to build a bit of suspense. Seb, you don't want to do that. You can do All a right. close. We can cheat. I like close. Plus, it, as we discussed earlier, it's it's safe to it's always safer to call a close at the end of a, a path if you want a close path. Yeah. Even while you prepare the giveaway, I'll do my ASCII art. The world needs this. Yes. Ah. Don't know perfect. About, don't know about ASCII art. It seems more like ASCII shark to me. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. It's the maximum artistic aspiration I can have. <laughs> so, so we we have a we have a question, and unfortunately, I think they missed the beginning of the stream because we did that so that yeah. was the easy way that we actually showed at the beginning and then the the, the audience asked uh for the the the, the hardcore version yeah. of it that actually it's it's really it's really cool because it gives you the opportunity to basically draw everything so it's nice that i i have the the, the code and i know how to do it i mean i don't know how to do it yet but I have a reference. Plus, I have a blog post, so now I know. <laughs> oh, that, that that that's not that. Don't worry. We will have the the VOD at the end of the stream, so you can catch up and you can enjoy the, the also the easy way. I uh, but I now, will actually, say I, I I'm mm -hmm. not going to commit this even if it works. I'm just gonna leave the easy way because you know once the code is yeah. out, uh, there's a simpler and better and probably more efficient way to do it. We're just going to leave it at, at that. But you here but, today or later in the future watching the VOD, you have the code for the alternative that uh, mere mortals just looking at the code on GitHub won't have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you can copy paste it from the stream. I don't think you can copy nope. paste it from the video, but you can try. Uh, you can. You I can, can create a gist if um, you folks want it, though. Well, I mean, yeah, also that. But um, okay, so let. What, what do we want to do? Do we want to do the giveaway? Yeah, let's. Are we doing the giveaway? Yep. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, you can create the the gist. On is, it. is it gist or gist? Oh, uh, I don't I think know. It's we will gist, moment. But I'm not sure. I, I would call it a gist. Uh, you see. But do you so also the, call it the, the GIF? UK, the UK person. So we are gonna we are gonna run the the poll next week. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so for the giveaway, um, we are basically uh, gonna use the the word is uh, the word is I'm gonna the word is tomato. Okay, wait. Tomato, you word mean? Word is <laughs> tomato, tomato, whatever it is. So. Uh, in the chat in the next minute you can type tomato type it once and then you're eligible for the giveaway in the meantime I'm also gonna try to run uh, a commercial break so oh, please wow. bear with me and twitch let me know what happens Is it is it running? I don't know. I'm making a gist. We will never know. It's a gist, not a yeah. gist. <laughs> it's, it's a gist. No, it's a gist. But I just call it gist so you understand it's a different thing. Probably. Or maybe I just made that up. Um, I can't see any evidence of a commercial break running. <laughs> That's good. It's fine. I have no idea. I just... I just clicked. I just clicked a button. I don't know if it's something is happening. I've just got the video feed up on uh, in front of me, and I can't see. So, oh. Stylianos said that uh, they did see an ad. So there, there's that. Uh, one thing. Uh, the the only okay. reason why we ran an ad is that if someone joins for the next thirty minutes or something, they don't get pre rolls. Yeah. So it's not like yeah. we have a choice. We can either front load it for everyone, 
uh, so everyone gets a pre-roll or we can run ad breaks uh, as we recently found out uh, so that people don't get a, a pre-roll when they join the stream. Uh, it's just uh, how Twitch works, I think. Uh, yeah. To bet yeah, yeah, your they, team they isn't here me... to confirm. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, you know, I, I saw like a, like a tooltip saying for like 21 minutes, nobody's going to see ads when they join. So, um, so if you want, keep typing the word and I'm going to give it another, where is it? I'm going to, yeah, if you are, uh, if you want, keep typing tomato and yeah, and before we run it or before we end it, we can uh, roll it. I want to just give it another couple of minutes so everybody can actually join. Keep typing tomato and you're going to be eligible. So tomato, 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 whatever you pronounce it, you just type it tomato, tomato. Um, and yeah, OK, so should we roll it? Let me know. I'm we ready. Make it? Uh, I I can roll it. Boom. Here you go. So look at that. Oh, nice. our newest sub. Congrats. <laughs> super. This is actually super cool. This is super cool. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna add you as a friend. So you will see a uh, friend request so we can we can communicate via messages or whispers or whatever Twitch has so we can get uh, to to figure out the address and the shipment. So yeah, by the way, congratulations I, for the stickers. I, I think go. it's Look worth saying even that there is uh, like if you're a sub, I don't know if you've changed that, but I think to, I seem to remember there's like a bias, like if you're a sub, uh, or a follower, you get a slightly higher chance of winning. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean the, the return on investment was high, but I actually I can get, I, I can confirm that we had the um, we had the bias for the subscribers, but we are not doing it on the stickers. We are doing it on the IntelliJ license. So that's because yeah. that's like a let, let's uh um but it's gonna be a higher... high like a very high bias <laughs> no i mean I, we don't know yet but the idea is that the, on the stickers everybody can can win yeah. but i mean we appreciate the sub and if you are a sub i'm gonna take uh, an executive decision you get three stickers and uh, so <laughs> fair, enough. Uh, fair enough jokes aside is, jokes uh, aside are I'm, you I'm tired very, of having to deal happy. with stickers already <laughs> no, 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 no. I love, I love it. I want them to be all around. I mean, look at this thing. It's so cool. I love it. Look at this. I mean, don't you love it? I love it. Yeah, they're, they're really so, nice. It's, it's so nice. Look, it's super cute. So, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's spread the, the sticker love. Um, do we want to run it? Uh, it's running Did already. It's just it? waiting for, uh, yeah. shall we? Yes. Go for it. Boom. Yay! Boom. Hashtag first okay. try. Whoop! I think it is that worth saying that both uh, of the solutions we looked at, they need some tweaking of the layout because now the top edge of the bubble is lower than it was because we're leaving room for the stem. So if you actually look at the two arrows, they're not centered. Uh, the, the up and down arrow. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 they're not centered within the bubble anymore, so we'd need to add some additional uh, top padding and stuff like that. But yeah, hey, I we... I would actually say so. First of all, uh, given this works uh, and it's on the gist, you see, I said it right this time. Uh, I have re mm -hmm. reverted to what we had before, which was you know ten lines of this. code instead of fifty. Um, and we can um, we can actually rerun it. It's not going to change anything, but uh, make the stem triple the size just to see how it would look real quick. Sure thing. 
Ooh, we can do. Uh, let's make. Sides. No, this is corner radius. That's uh, the corner radius. Well, whatever. Same thing. Four <laughs> tips. Well, I mean, he said he said at the beginning of the stream that he was tired. So this is actually. I mean, you you actually missed the step after two hours. So this Bam! is like, seems nice. I, dun dun dun. There's the that, you know that shows something that we were discussing earlier. It does clip. Yeah, because the, the, the this is being clipped. Yep. Clippity clip. Yeah. Also, you can see like even the the okay. numbers while they animate, they don't go outside of the stem. No, yeah. But I'll Get, put it back like, massively. 16. And that's the nice thing about compose. Actually, no. Live literals, everyone. <laughs> Yolo, nice. Yeah, this is cool. Um and. Uh... Yeah. So there's there's a couple of other things that we might want to try and fix. I know they're going to be a bit of a pain, but I kind of want to do it uh, in the next 15 minutes or so. Maybe we'll manage, cool. maybe we won't, but I, I kind of know what the problems are so I can try and fix them. So the first one is that when we open something, that, like this jumps to the side. And if we... Well, why? Yeah, if we open the layout inspector, it should kind of become obvious, but um, it might be just to me. So, um, so the first thing is that we see that like we have the uh, animated visibility, which is mm -hmm. the one in the expandable time picker. It's the thing that opens up and closes down. Um, so where the card is contained, but you can see that the card actually only starts here. So that's the first thing that that was to align it to you know where the X sits, but we don't we don't need that anymore, so we can get rid of that first of all. Then we have uh, oh yeah another thing that I will get rid of is the top. Um, well that actually goes on the picker I think the animated visibility seems to have some top padding. Well, the no, no, sorry. The card has some top padding, uh, which is that four dip here. You can see that the, the corner of the stem doesn't end up all the way here. It I don't want it to touch the pill, but it wouldn't anyway, because there's still this eight dips gap here, which is fine. Uh, but I just want the eight dips. I don't want another four dips there. Um, then there is uh, the end padding which is another eight dips here i don't want that and lastly there is a bottom padding here which is another four dips which probably can stay for now it's okay uh the only thing i think uh is these the the eight dips here are not really needed either so for now i'll just remove this uh altogether um, we uh, we can probably try and run it again and see how that looks uh, Buonasera Buonasera Z look 2000 welcome to the channel and to the chat uh, okay so now I don't have weird spacings anywhere that's fine but what is going on why is this this big and why is this moving what the fuck is going on um so the first thing you can notice is that the uh the animated visibility well the card actually is taking up the whole width of that is yeah, available it's like so that's match not, bar and something yeah, right it's this we don't need this anymore oh max suite yeah okay that's fine what we want is uh this is actually like having this here it's wrong because this modifier align only applies to the animated visibility not to the card i think because the card is the one that sits immediately inside of the column scope so the column scope is at this level here we are another level in so probably this needs to go here instead and let's see that should also 
make sure that now the card is not going to be the full width anymore. It's going to be just whatever space it needs and it should be centered. So let's okay. try this. Let's see how that goes. Okay. And here. Okay. Uh, it's still ooh. taking well, up I mean, the still... whole width. Why is that? Okay. What is it that is taking the whole width? This one is. It's the row. So we have the card. The card is uh, wrap content. Uh, but there is a row that is but, taking uh... the full width. Uh, Where's the row? The row, well, the row is here. You can it's double click it. It's this. So here's oh, another nice. thing that can go away. Okay. So we only now have this padding here, and we can try this again. And I think that now it should be working correctly. So let's see. And we do this. Yes. Okay. It looks it's... shit. Okay. But it is at least the size of the card <laughs> yeah. is correct. Yeah. Now, what's yeah, going yeah. on? What's going on here is that first of all, this looks entirely <laughs> out of center, but it is centered, yeah. but the buttons have a lot of white space around them. So yeah. one thing we can do. Um I mean vertical is not centered. Oh yeah, no, we'll the get button there. is. We'll get there. Let's keeping... let's talk yeah. about horizontally okay. first. So these buttons have a lot of white space around them. So what we can do is we can take out this uh, padding uh, here on the right hand. And also there is a lot of room underneath here. We don't need extra padding yeah. at the bottom. So what we can do is we Where can is change this oh, to this one. Um, horizontal start. And well, let's just do start. For now, uh, I think live literals actually worked here. Let's see. Yes, I think they did. No, they did not. It was all a nope. lie. It was all a lie. <laughs> the cake was a lie. Yeah. Also the padding, apparently. Yeah. Okay. 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 It looks differently shit like it's still shit but for a different yeah reason. i mean the, the, the whole so what's going on arrow is making me yeah the thing is me claustrophobic yes the card has that background here that has a portion of it at the top which is the the stem uh size that shouldn't be occupied by content but currently is you know we, we have this button that overlaps it yeah. we, we have the the text uh, that also overlaps it. So if you if you click it, you can see that the ripple tells you how big that actually is. And for yeah. this one, it's fine because it's like it gets Ish. to the edge. It's kind of okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's on the board. Yeah. So so why is cut? Uh, it's cut because if you had done this with a nine patch, for example you would have had a drawball uh -huh. that has uh, intrinsic padding. But the, the mm -hmm. shape we have created doesn't have that. Ah, OK, so the because, problem here, because even if it's green, it's actually part of the rectangular. Yeah, you, you can see in the layout inspector ah. that this is the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our shape is taking yeah. up the entirety of the card. But the, yeah. the shape isn't telling the contents where its bounds are. So we need to tell it, we, yeah, we need okay, to okay. compensate for that by hand. So we need. Okay. So and it's going to clip them as well, as we saw when we were. Yeah. Yeah. It's, when we increased the stem size, yeah, it was clipping stuff. It's clipping here. You're like, you can see it clips the ripple, for example. Uh, mm -mm. It's fine down here, pretty much. Uh, but obviously it's not great. And also because it's still a bit visually imbalanced, I would probably increase this to maybe 24 for now. Let's see how that goes. I had to restart it because I think if you ch like, if you only change the number, live literals work, but if you add a different one, maybe it doesn't, I don't yeah. know. Anyway, it doesn't take much time. No, no, so. I think you are right. Okay. Ah. It looks nicer. Definitely nicer. Looks. Can you can you show me wow. the layout, the layout inspector? Because sure. now I'm, 
I I see. I mean, those layout bounds are super useful. Yes. Um, I think you can enable layout bounds. Uh, you know the, yeah, the well, debug well, option, I mean, but I... it's it's easier here to see what is what, right? Yeah, I like the layout inspector. I mean, it feels like it's working decently. So yeah. this is good. Kudos. And but now you so can you see had the... to actually manually uh, compensate, right? So you you will probably you need to keep in mind the um, height of the triangle yeah. because you know you need to compensate for that on the bounding level. So oh yeah, but you can use a variable. Nice. Well, a nice parameter one, in this Seb. case. Yeah, that's actually smart. Bravo. Okay, and then you go where this is used and the stem height is here, but the stem size is the same height is the same. So you can create a variable uh, in here, which is uh, stem size. And this is also stem size. Stem size. Uh, it's, it only cares about the height here. So I didn't pass the, the, the I didn't call it size, huh. but it's essentially the same thing. And yeah, it's uh, actually nice. Yeah, so now. So it should be a nice, uh, uh, another nice use of live literals. If you change that, it should just. Uh, it did, but work. then it got confused because it's the new parameter, I think. Yeah, but what I mean is now it's loaded. You now should be able to just change stem oh, height. Right, yes. It should. Uh, yeah, it should adjust. Yeah. Okay, so I have this, and I can probably just go here. Where is it? Like 24. Ah. Yep, works. Yep. Magic. It works. It works. This is actually very nice. There you this go. Is... Oh, 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 nice. 160. You said? <laughs> Why? Would... No, nobody, nobody say that. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> But that does show what I said earlier is if you position that too far uh, yeah. close yeah, to the yeah. corner, it yeah. does screw up the shape quite badly. I mean, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but actually, um, I mean, I'm all about Yagni, you know, on this kind of stuff because, yeah, you can you can polish and make it future proof as much as possible. But then, you know, the return of investment, you're going to see very quickly when you fuck up so so at that point if you need it you can iterate on the but i like the fact that uh the speech bubble shape it's super neat i love it okay and now we have the last thing to do which uh, i i haven't really looked into much so it's gonna be uh fucked but i want to get rid of this before we finish the stream uh if you're yeah. okay with that um mark help <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah that was something... like a subtle hint you know because even he's on twitter uh checking the chat i was like where is my dog and kind of and, <laughs> and well, it was Seb, it was for you mark it was Seb, you. you did something similar to this uh before where you used uh the layout modifier to get values mm -hmm. from uh, the layout pass and so all you need to do is something similar here. Uh, when the uh, uh, in the layout pass, you need to determine the horizontal center of the of each pill, and pass that as the stem position. Mm. So uh, it's just uh, expanded range extremity disease the two. So the thing is, I think. Given we passed which um, extremity, so it's the from or the to that is expanded, um, I think I can either pass both the stem positions and just here use um, the expanded uh, value to decide which one to use as the stem position, right? Or we yep. just pass one. What do you think makes more sense? Um, so where are the pills exactly? Oh, it, it's, the pills. You need to determine the center of the pill. They be here. 
So you've got two of those. So it's where these are laid out. You need to determine their their center point. So I guess the horizontal in the row? center. That would seem logical. You sure? Like this, right? Uh, you play with this more than I have. Oh, uh, I see we're going the full YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't yeah, know. I haven't played with this much. Like, the thing is, I don't know. Like, layout ID, what the fuck is this? The tag associated to composable with the layout. Okay, so we can add the layout ID to each peel and yeah. then retrieve it here and do a when and um yeah okay i mean okay. this thing is returning uh nullable any um, <laughs> just yep. just for you to know yep <laughs> okay and okay i mean it could be literally everything it could be a string or a supernova i mean it's like a... uh i i will actually do this I'll, I'll reuse the range extremity and i don't think it needs to be expanded but whatever it's fine so i don't have the modifier parameter in the peel uh time peel button um thing i forgot words but uh, i'll just add it uh add it add it and this is two. Okay. And now I am going to go here. Uh, this needs to have a modifier by default. Uh, the first optional parameter. Oh, yeah. This is the problem. Okay. This makes Lint happy. And thus, it makes me happy. Okay, so I guess like this is the only composable we have in here, so we can just apply it directly to it, which is modifier is equal to modifier. So we pass in whatever modifiers that we have set, which in this case is only the layout ID. And then in here we can do when uh lay uh no was it measurable dot layout id and this is uh expanded range extremity from uh then we need to set the bar uh bar uh from pill center X by remember and uh, this is going to be immutable state of 0f and also this is uh, px value okay and we need to do the same thing for the other pill just two so this one will set uh from pill center x is uh oh yeah we need to measure first low uh does this return something yes okay so we make it measure we take the result which is measure no it's result we get the Oh yeah, I don't. Uh, this doesn't know where it's supposed to go. Also, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, so first of all, this is a center, so we we have half the width for sure. Uh, and this is just result result. Uh, dot. How do you? I forgot. How do you... But actually, I saw I saw that it was a measurable oh, it, something. It a measurable. Why it's a placeable now? Yeah, but you need so, a measure result or something? where is it? Right, but 
So where, where was it you used this something similar to this before? Is it worth looking at that as a refresher? Um, here. So it's a placeable. Okay. And then you. Oh, you need to call this. Okay. 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 You need okay. to lay out it. I need to decide where it goes, but I don't know where it goes. We'll figure it out. Uh, so this is the placeable, and this is uh, layout. Uh, we'll figure out the parameters. Uh, what was it again? Placeable dot place relative. Um, but I don't know where it's supposed to be placed. It's placeable with. Yep. And then you, what was the height? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was Just... a different thing here because okay. we were animating it. So we're animating yeah, the enough. height, and uh, but we are not doing that here. We just take whatever size the, the Just... composable, the placeable wants to be. But the problem is now, I don't know, okay. place relative to what? I think, is that relative to the, um, the width Oh, in the, the parents there. coordinate system. So is there any argument in the placeable where it determined it should go? Uh, no, nope. but maybe <laughs> constraints has that. Uh, X, no. Position, <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Cold, mean, cold. cold. Fuck! How do you do this? Offset, constraint, no constraint. Bounded. Nope. Doesn't so, look like it. So I, anything I, in the measurable? Um. Uh, let me Upward. see. Uh, Nato D. Nah, it doesn't have shit. No. Uh, how do you, okay, let me, let me see some other usage somewhere else in the framework, uh, and see foundation. I think this is definitely YOLO driven development, isn't it? Yep. yep. This is actually, <clears throat> there's no chance that we know what we're doing here. So Yes, blah blah blah. Child constraints. The, the moment the moment it works, the moment it works, you just commit and just call it a day. Yep. Works for me. I mean, if it works, it yep. works. <laughs> I mean, if it works, right? I so mean, it's everything a just needs to be using zero zero. Yeah, that's uh, because is... I think it's in 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 the parent coordinate system. So you want it to actually go top left of the parent, right? Yeah, but in this case we don't. Is there anything otherwise, in, in this the one placeable... will go here, right? Is, is there it's anything... gonna go zero zero of the row because the parent is the row, or anyway, it's the column that contains the row, which is okay. here. Is so I'm any... quite sure that's not how it's supposed to go. But I think there's another modifier actually which might work. Is there anything before you delete that? Is there anything yep. in the placeable placement scope that you might give you? So in the lambda to the layout, the scope of that layout lambda is the placeable placement scope. Nope. Nope. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. But I think. Yeah, that is oh, said thrombo. Uh, but there is an thrombo. on globally positioned. Ah, which yeah. I Thing oh, nice. Yeah, why better? So that's the layout coordinates. Yeah, that, that sounds more like Ciao. it. Yeah. Okay, Ciao. so now we have the layout coordinates. We have the size. Basically, basically, you have layout inspector now, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, but this, I you, think... there is a position in parent. I think is that. Uh... Scroll down. The local position. Yeah. Uh, position in parent. In, in, yep. Nice. Nice. 
good uh dot okay x so this is wow the the thing is though i don't think we need to put it on the row we need to put it on the yeah but because yeah. the, the row is going to be zero zero right i mean the the row yeah the row is fine the row doesn't need to be there uh i need this because i need the button when it, the button is globally positioned in the parent uh okay that makes sense so this one and we have you want it and it wants to be that that plus half of the width we have a question in the chat about globally on globally position i don't know what it is or how about... it works <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, but I mean, so would make us be one frame late with adjusting the position. Um, Mark. Um, possibly. <laughs> Only one way to um, find but, out. But, but, yeah, I guess. But, but, but that, uh, but changing that is going to trigger a recomposition. Yeah. I don't like. I think the the second you you set this is gonna recomp like it's gonna change this which is gonna change this composition and so given we're doing it in essentially a, a on pre draw uh this is not gonna draw this frame it's gonna or if, i mean if it manages to it will draw in the same frame otherwise i guess i expect it would go where's leland when you need him <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. If only, if only we can have him on the stream, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's say we do. Uh, oh, I'm gonna rename this. It's gonna. Oh, it's not gonna break shit. Okay, so I'm gonna add the um. Uh. Stem position here, which is if expanded extremity is from, then this is going to be from fill center X. Else, this is technically wrong, but I don't particularly care. Uh, to fill center <laughs> X. I just want to. I like the technically wrong. It is technically wrong because there's like this has three states and this is kind of wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 fine. I guess. I don't know. This is still probably going to break. Uh, -huh. uh but yeah, whatever. We'll fix it probably. <laughs> Oh, wow, studio. Wow. What the fuck happened? <laughs> what was that? I mean, that was like a serious Christ. Yeah, because I don't think the null is going to cut. Whoa, the null is not going to cut it. Stay in position. Null about int. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is also at PX. Okay, but um, I have a question about the at px. Is it like uh, something just for visual purpose, or the the ID is helping you with something? Is it like the old string rest kind of thing? Um, no, or it's there just is like for an, me to know the notation process. It's because with ah, okay. dips you do have types, but with pixels you don't. So okay, okay, okay. Let, let's put zero for now as an alternative, whatever, it's fine. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, it's not complaining, which is good. Okay, let's try it. It's probably not working, but... I can see something that's going to break, but... Most likely, yeah. I don't want to okay. spoil. It's not... Okay. In entirely broken but it is broken in the when thing. you click on 12 30 it's going to be positioned yeah <laughs> oh. <like> <laughs> yep come on let's just 
unfair. It was it was so close. But there's also look at that. I mean, you, in the middle of you cannot really see it, but because of the null, when when I when I deselect it and it's animating away, the uh -huh. the stem just goes here because it's zero. What? Oh yeah, because you the null, which is what I expected to happen. Um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> So perhaps what you need to do is actually set that value and only change it when the selection changes. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So I won't do this here, but I'll do stem position. Okay. And uh, where the fuck is it? I don't remember where that happens. I mean, it's it was... probably here, but. Hill background. Yeah. On click. Expanded okay. extremity. Okay. Yeah. So this is here. We need to do. Uh, I, I. Yeah. We need to create the stem position and be like stem position. Is this. Okay, and this is nope. Uh, needs to be out here. So stem position. Uh, technically speaking, I don't think this needs to be a remember. Mm -hmm. Based on what we talked about with Leland, but on the other hand, we are doing Yolo driven development. Uh, and that yeah, yeah, because yeah, but you will never, you will, you will never know. You will never know. The compiler is smarter than you, Sebastiano. So Leland said it clearly. It, you will never know oh, what's gonna happen. I had no so doubt even point... before he said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <sir. laughs> that don't don't beat yourself. But uh, I mean, nowadays that's that's true. I mean, compilers are smart. So why bother? Let's see if this works. Come on. Nope, uh, nope, 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 nope. So there's clearly it's pointing at the right place. So there's that. Whee! But it's uh, not even that bad. I mean, I I think there's um a base problem, which is that the coordinates are wrong. Like yeah. the the global position thing, uh, it needs. Positioning parent, it's in the row, and I think it needs to get subtracted something. Um, Is it because the offsets of the parents for the speech bubble for for the time picker and the the row are different? No, Maybe I, layout inspector could help. I think the problem here is that uh, it's kind of a happenstance that it sort of points the right place uh but this um this is centered and this is an offset from here so it needs to get like we need to subtract this uh, yeah. half of the card well the, yep. the 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 position of this of the of the card needs to be subtracted yeah so we could do that with another yeah uh global global position listener uh yeah, but we can do it inside of here. Yeah, and then do the. We can do it here. Layout coordinates, sure. And then we can do. Well, uh, card. X and this is well, this bar card X by remember. Why does it insist? Everything. The will state of Z, uh, zero F. This is also mm, nice. uh, pixels. Again, I'm just putting at PX for my own sake. Mm -hmm. And this is layout coordinates dot position in parent dot x. 
and theoretically stamp position you need to set my you need to set to the card, yeah i'll yeah. do it card x and this is card x i would have spent 15 minutes wondering why the fuck it wasn't working thank you yeah i mean <laughs> that's why i didn't i didn't hesitate when mark was saying to actually say it as well i mean it's like the, we need to get to him right now thank you for saving me <laughs> from myself no oh, then yeah this thing is hard especially at this hour yep Yay! okay oh nice look at that uh, you're still gonna have a problem yes with the it's other still book. gonna be weird but it's it's, ah, it's fine almost there it's almost fine there. it's fine yeah, and that was cool i mean <laughs> i guess i, I like the, 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 the from the car it's like eh, eh. If we were to write, align the time picker, that might fix a whole heap of stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't look nice. You, you want to align it on the on the right? I mm -hmm. will do course in and yolo the shit out of this. Um, Is it? It's like. <sighs> oh yeah, you don't know, you don't know me when I want to what? yolo shit. No, no, I mean, I'm getting like a, having an idea over time. I'm making an idea <laughs> how dangerous you are. I'm not dangerous. I'm just like when, reckless. When you, uh, no, sorry. no, no. <laughs> when you when you put your mind, you know, when you put your mind on something, it has to work. So you're just going to punch it in the face until it works. So that's it. I like it. Uh, hard X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, but this is what we do. You can't the wait. Development. You want that? Uh, no, I'm. I want it to be from here ah, to yeah. here. Uh, so this I is. I mean, the guy is fancy, for... Mark. The guy is fancy. You you don't know him. What was the fucking corner radius? Uh, oh yeah, I need the density. 16. I need the density. Yeah. So you you needed the density. So so Mark was right. No way. Well, no, that, that was in a different there, place. Be, yeah, be but with, it was a density. Bear problem. bear with me for a second. Uh, uh corner ready. Oh shit. Use. Okay. Well, something very bad happened to <laughs> somebody. Don't, don't, we have like a, a very, very Nazi bot that tries to save us from spam. Sorry. Try to, yeah, we need to fix this because they were looking, we were trying to put a link in the chat and they just got destroyed by the bot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite as bad as angry bot used to be yeah man. Where, yeah there's an uh, allow list of of uh domains that uh, people can uh, post to but uh yeah it needs requirements it has deleted it. all of his messages did it yeah that's why that's, that's i don't like that's i don't like sorry so, wait, i'm gonna disable i'm gonna disable the link uh the link protection so you can now pay, paste the link that's harsh i don't I, like i it. think you to can try to, to tune that you can un yeah, out someone from the chat something something i don't know is it how how there was it how is it timeout i mean i don't even know where is it i don't know i need i need to time out what untime out user sorry Oh, this escalated quickly. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, super sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> oh, fuck. now I feel bad. Sorry, I mean, the, the boat just got too aggressive. I need to try to, to tune it. Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to improve it. Yeah, well. So if you, if you have a link, please just paste the link. If it's not something on OnlyFans. I mean, uh, I I actually okay. feel for you. I got done by Angry Bot um, one oh, yeah. time, and it just wiped out my entire chat history for that chat session. Yeah, but 
Yeah, that was that was super super bad. That was super bad. It was like you were just typing like capital letters and the whole thing just went ballistic. So, you know, yeah. if you are if you are worried that robots are going to take over the world, well, think again. <laughs> but I mean, all I did a... was I put in a um an acronym of CBDD for Chris Bain's driven development, but I yeah. did it all caps like... and it, it kicked me out for shouting. Yeah. Don't don't sorry. Don't upset the bots. Our yeah, future okay. overlords. Okay, I should be yeah, done in the meantime. They... <laughs> I like I like the nice Maya. Yeah, there was just <laughs> he tried. Oops. Look at that. Oh, oh fuck. That was bad. Well, let's try yeah, again. What happened? Yeah, it's fine. Uh cannot so force value to an empty range. range. Oh yeah, I fucked up something here. It's fine. Um yeah. so <laughs> well, I mean, at, at least the mathematics still works. Like minus thirty-two is less than sixteen. Okay, fair enough. So it needs to be from card x plus corner radius px. Uh, card x plus card with minus corner radius px minus stem size. PX. It looks fine to me. Why is minus 32? I do not know. Uh, I, I is it is it the uh, stem position minus card decks that it's from? No, I think the problem here is that um, the value, uh, but the stem position is relative to the left edge of the card. Yes, you are so by right. subtracting card X. But this is fine. Like, I didn't need the card X there. I needed it here. Wait. Because the card is centered. Wait. That's the reason why we need to subtract card X to compensate for the fact that the card is centered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we don't need it here. Uh, that said, corner radius PX is the minimum 16. That's Fine. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, it might be just a timing thing where it's not really measured yet. And thus the thing explodes. Yep, I think that's yes. I think that's the problem. And it's still. Yeah, it's here. So uh... can you extract it to a variable or something? Would it make sense? Uh yeah. Fucking fucker. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we are not family friendly. Who is what? Because I sure no, am. Nothing. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so. Okay. The Here you go. stem size is 16. The stem size PX is 16, 16 okay. which is weird. Uh, what about card X? Why? No, this is weird. This is wrong. This is wrong. Okay. That was wrong to start. Uh, but also, so we have the corners, corner radius PX is going to be, well, let's restart it. I think yeah, it's faster it. to just restart it. And we don't need you now. Nope. Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh. So. Okay. Uh, Corner radius in pixel 42. 42. Okay. That makes more sense because the density is whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Um, so. We need to coerce it in. Is, is this still crashing? Probably yes. I mean, if you run it. Probably yes. Okay. Yep. It crashed. Ouch. Yep. Uh, I think the issue here is that, the, well, let's go there a second and see the actual values. Oh, go for it. Okay. 
Okay. So at this point, the kernel radius px is 42. The card width, and this might be the problem, <laughs> the card width is probably still zero. Yep, it's still zero. So that's the problem. When this is zero, this kind of like blows up uh, because it hasn't been globally positioned yet because it hasn't done this shit. The measure, yet. yeah. So what we can do, what we can do is instead of doing it here and going fucking crazy, we can do it in the shape, right? Because here we know mm -hmm. where shit is. So we can just move the stem position if need be. Okay. So we have val uh, adjusted stem position, which is stem position dot uh, course in. And we need to, to take in the corner radius. And it goes. And the width to... minus the corners radius. Huh? Minus. Yeah, size dot width minus corner radius minus stem width. Stem size. And I need to use this instead of this. Okay. This could potentially work. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. But this means we don't need this crap. And we don't need this uh, parentheses. Um, so still, an awesome, it's not the late by one frame issue. We are still inside of the same frame, but this is done before this is done uh, because this is an on pre-draw essentially. So while this is laying itself out, this is not done yet. So it doesn't has it doesn't have the value yet. Uh, also, we don't need this shit, but we'll I'll remove it. Let's see. Yay! Yeah, that works. It it it's... doesn't look great, but it it's correct. At least it's correct. Well, it's getting there. I mean, it's it's weird, but. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, you, you can even play, it, I mean, smart, clever and you move. I mean, when you click on 10, right, the, um, the stem is in the middle. Yep. But when you click on this, it's more like on the left. You can put the one uh, on 10 also on the left. So at least it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, we are positioning it at the beginning no, of the pin. No, 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 right? that's, yeah. that's worse. <laughs> No offense, but that's worse. Fair enough. You, <laughs> uh, no, designer, what I think so. here, I, I just noticed that the the stem isn't actually here. Like it's missing half of the stem size uh, for for whatever reason. Yeah, did we do it against uh, corner diameter rather than corner radius? No, it seems like we're doing it against corner radius. It should be fine. Oh, yeah, we're not using corner diameter in the simple version, yeah. are we? Yeah. That was only in the, the complex version. But I think, I think, I'm just eyeballing it, but I think that this is good enough. Ah, we only want to do it by half the, uh, the stem size. Yeah. Because otherwise... Because it's the center that yep. we're positioning. Yep. Indeed. I mean, this is good. I like it. So, Indeed. what happened? Yeah, this is correct. Now it ends at the very... Like, it's good enough, right? Yeah, yeah. That's fair. It's here. It's here. Yeah, it's good. Do you, do you want to be splendid? Or do you want to finish it off? Because I can be splendid. No, no. I mean, I miss my family. I will go <laughs> if you don't mind. Okay, fair enough. Oh, fuck, it's nine. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. 
when I, when I, yeah, I miss my family and I would like to, you know, have Christmas with my family as well. So if we can cut it short, it's better. <laughs> anyway, the, the splendid thing that I was mentioning um, would be mm -hmm. to um, simply animate the, the stem position, uh, which is easy enough to do, but whatever, we're not going to do it now. It's just it's here. So you, well, pull request, pull request. You can animate it if you want. Welcome. It's an exercise for uh, the viewers. Yes, I would say this <laughs> pull is request. good. It's good. I like it. I mean, Whee! let's let's uh, let's make it. Uh, let's let's make a deal. If somebody wants to animate and they do a pull request to animate this, they are gonna be our guest at the episode where we go through the pull request and we merge it. How about that, Sebastian? <laughs> Fair enough. Huh? That's Fair that's enough. actually cool. Yeah, this works. Yeah, obviously, if the, the number is wider, the, the balloon is wider. Yeah, it moves. But yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, this could... Oh, but, but it's rap content, so it's not bad. Yeah, it, it's also... Like, what you can do is you can put back the, the, the card padding to the left. Which is going to compensate for um, for the fact that um, there there is essentially a gap on this side, and it's going to move the card. It's not going to be centered anymore. It's going to be slightly to the right. That all that also works fairly well. So many opportunities, okay. many chances, but I think good we can wrap it up. Even start wrapping it up. Yes, so I want to thank you all of you for the the laughs and for the supports in the chat today. There's a lot of as it was a long episode. Uh, Mark, thank you, thank you immensely because you always teach me the weirdest shit <laughs> that for you is like the yeah you know you know I never did this in ten years and I was like wow this is so cool and for you is just Tuesday. So, you know, that's the, I, I like the, the fact that, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we are animating things. Oh yeah, drawing path and arcs and whatever. So thank you for that. I, 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 I love that. And thank you everybody. Thank you, Sebastiano, for coping with our bullshit and coding for like more than two hours. <laughs> um, I have fun. I want to thank you, the people that, huh? I just have what? fun, so. Oh yeah, that's actually the best. Thank you, Spike, for burging in my studio. Like, like it's, it's your house. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just paying rent, Spike. But you can do whatever you want. Um, so, thank you, everybody. Thank you for the subscribers. Um, thank you for playing with us with the giveaway. Uh, the winner. We are gonna get in touch to get your address and ship the sticker. For everybody else, join again on Sunday. There are more stickers to win, and Sebastiano is going to also provide us with the JetBrain license. So if you are a subscriber, you, you have a lot of chances to win the license. That's, that's quite an amount of money. IntelliJ is cool. Uh, you can use it for uh, Compose for desktop for now. In, uh, in a few weeks, we, you are going to use it for uh, Compose for Android as well. So just hang in there, get ready. And uh, yeah, this is cool. Remember to like the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have, uh, if you want to get notified, please enable the notifications. This is important for us. And yeah, this is, it was great. I hope you had fun. And what else? I, I think See you on Sunday. Oh, do we we have a guest? Yeah, on Sunday, we need right? to say who it is, uh, right? <laughs> okay, so we have a, we have a secret guest that is not gonna be secret for much longer. Sebastiano, please. Um, Stylianos, uh Neither of them. It's not Ian, and it's not Josie. Uh, but given we today we have done a lot of uh, YOLO-driven development. On Sunday, we're going to do Chris Baines driven development <laughs> with Chris Baines. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, it was Chris Baines. So uh, Chris Baines, yeah, driven development. That's gonna happen. And so, if you want to join us on Sunday uh, for you know just messing with us, messing with Chris Baines, if you have questions, pretty pretty sure that you have questions. Uh, and yeah, this is yeah the actual Chris yeah, Baines. Yeah. That that's it. That's gonna <laughs> happen. So. Uh, we will try to have a session where we actually also write some code. <laughs> you know, we we don't want to pull another Leland also with Chris Baines and you go just for two hours of questions. So even chances though chances are that Sebastian is gonna probably code, we can we can promise. Uh, but yeah, this is this is happening. So please uh, join us on Sunday. And it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah. Speaking of uh, Chris and uh, whatever Stylianos just said on the chat, yes, he's leaving Google. Technically, I think his last day is on Friday, so uh, he will not be the Chris from Google on Sunday. Yes, <laughs> he'll be that's the not gonna be our Chris. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, uh, that's the 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 fun employed. Funny, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's having fun. So this is the the fun employed. He's gonna have a lot of fun with us at least. So yeah, cool. Mark, thank you again, Sebastiano. Stop coding, Sebastiano. We are we are saying goodbye. Just stop. Focus for a moment. People are just waiting for us to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Check the code on GitHub. If I still never sleep, so there is gonna be a lot of stuff. I gotta push now. Ciao, ciao. Bye. <laughs>